Hey, we went there. We were, we were on there like yesterday, two days ago. And today we are leaving. Sad face. How sad is your face? I'm not even that sad. Sad face. Sad. Pretty sad. There you go. Carson's probably the most sad. This is like his place to be. Yeah. She did all right. She did done good. <clears throat> I think I could use a new chain when I get back. My chain's a little old. <laughs> I'm so glad I got that. <laughs> that was a stunt jump. Are you gonna try it again? Sure. Oh, no bar out. <laughs> How dialed Carson is. All this stuff, one bag, just packs it in there very All carefully. All his clothes and everything. All his clothes, everything. Looks pretty good. I don't know how you can get how you get the wheels in there. You nuts. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Travis, you got a highlight? Share with everybody. Um, that's a really good question. Like highlight for me, highlight riding. What do you want? What, what yeah, define what, the highlight? What was your favorite spot that we rode? Favorite spot. Ooh. I mean, the triple challenge was pretty fun. Triple challenge was pretty. It fun. was actually just terrifying. It was absolutely terrifying. But it's <laughs> it was fun to feel that again. You know, it's been a long time since you feel something absolutely terrifying. Yeah. Like, and everyone else is just sending it. Like, you're like, man, does everyone else feel the same way I do? Like, this is fucked. Like, so that was that was actually pretty enjoyable. Um, I like Chino. I really enjoyed that park in the desert. I'm so glad Carson insisted on going there. It was worth it. Wish I could have got to ride uh, Claremont more, but. Hurt my knee at Pat's house. Oh, I should say Pat's house was pretty good too. <laughs> yeah, I wish I didn't hurt my knee at Pat's house, but um, at least that was towards the end of the trip. Favorite clip of the trip? I, it's gotta be that line that I got at Chino, was the- uh, The double whip the line. The transfer, yeah, the double whip line with the transfer and the foot jam. That thing was just dope. Chino was just good. We were all feeling it that day. Yeah, we were. We were all killing it, so. That was only day two, one or two? Or it was two. Saturday. So it was like day four. Oh yeah, because it we was went yeah we went to Chino to before to watch the finals of the triple challenge. Yeah. So, true. man, there's so much happened in this week that we were here that like I won't even remember all of it until we like go through all the footage and see it all because it's like man, and we went to motocross at one point. You know, we were down at Huntington Beach on a pier with some dudes in electric skateboards. We were on Santa Monica Pier. That was today. You guys were at you guys were at whatever beach you were when I came and grabbed you off the plane and like. Man, it's just that's a lot to do in a week. I'm ready for uh, sit on the couch maybe for a day or two. You <laughs> yeah. know, put some ice on my knee and go again when we're ready. All right, Darcy, give me uh, give me the highlights of your trip. I think the um, the best thing that I was able to do was ride Pat Casey's Dream Yard. Um, it really brings back like some old Enterprise Woodward Park vibes where there's just like all these like weird transfers kind of all over the place. I uh, definitely wish like what Travis said that we could have spent a little more time there but uh, we got there kind of as the rain stopped and we had like three hours before the sun came down and then all it was just like instant curtain shut off at like five o'clock where we couldn't see anything. Um, but yeah, it would have been cool to just ride there and get used to the place a little bit more because then we could have hit like the big, big, big jump with a little more confidence. And uh, other than that, I think that the Desert Skate Ranch was just wicked. Like just being out in the middle of nowhere, 
on this like immaculate skate park mm -hmm. in a desert. So props for uh, Sean at the Desert Skate Ranch for letting us ride. It was amazing and uh, we can't wait to come back. Travis? Yes. How many tacos do you think we ate this trip? Like collectively all three of us? No, just you. Just me? But you always had like one less than us, so. Yeah, you guys were going hard on the tacos. Was, again, it was like, man, that when you come down here, I'll give you the rule because these guys fucked up on the tacos. If you don't know how big the tacos are, buy $10 worth. That's the right amount. Whether they're $6 tacos or they're two fifty dollars tacos, you know, get close to $10 and it's perfect. Darcy Darcy went hard at the one place and what was it, $2.50 tacos? No, no, it was $5, six. yeah, six or $5 tacos. And it's like, if you go to a place that has $2.50 tacos, they're usually small, that's why it's two fifty. If you go to a place where they're five, they're usually big. So Darcy went hard and got like six at like $6 <laughs> and then immediately was like, oh no. Up. Like, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, just just Fourth spend. It. You know, unless you're at like a big fancy place, then I mean, then that uh, that metric goes out the window. But uh, yeah, yeah. If you uh, if you want tacos, ten bucks is right around the right amount. And remember, you can always order more tacos. You can't order less once you've got them, <laughs> and they don't take very long to make. So you might as well just order more. And if you're getting tacos, ask the people around you yeah. where the taco place Man, is. Just ask random people. Don't go don't go to the fancy places or whatever. Just go up to a random street vendor. We went up to a guy like did sunglasses and like he he pointed us to a spot away from where all the tourists were awesome local spot unbelievably good we had a guy here direct us to a taco spot as well also very good very juicy teddy's tacos teddy's tacos was that was that here and then uh wherever the one we went last night was pretty good that was james's Dos suggestion. Amigos Dos in amigos. Beach. yeah the other the one the other one was fiesta grill in huntington, huntington beach. beach that one <laughs> yeah. was really really good did we hit tacos in san diego i think we did but i can't remember what the name of it was yeah it was, it was uh, a taco place mike's taco shop in the two minutes that we did this carson is now packed up almost i just gotta break my zipper traps i'm just gonna oh i swear it's not a bike in here jeez Ooh. nice nice work bud you wouldn't believe that carson's week of a life supplies are in there and a bicycle yeah. pretty well Good to go. Carson, we have a couple questions. Yeah, what's up? Best taco was uh, Midnight Tacos last night there. Dos the Amigos? place, yeah, yeah, Dos Amigos Dos that Amigos. James recommended. Huntington Beach, California. Because I got the burritos too, and one of those midnight ones, and it was far out there. Tons of cilantro and onion. Chino or Belvedere Park? Uh, Probably Belvedere, because it's less busy. And Chino is good for the morning when it's not busy. But we got to ride with our friends at Belvedere. Like, we got to meet up with Jeff and Andrew Lazy out there so that was really fun uh we got lucky at chino park just because there's like sweet locals there and they showed us the lines on the way of the road and that was pretty good but beyond that i'm pretty much just beating a dead horse like all these parks are really really fun we <laughs> yeah. crammed all we could into one week yeah. we need more than seven days man we need a body that can take yeah. more than seven days yeah I mean, carson's can mine can <laughs> yeah how are you feeling today how's the hands feel my hands just hurt oh yeah Ah, uh, pretty normal. I just don't want to do any more bunny hops. Yeah. <laughs> For at least a week. Like, the yeah. amount of just pulling back on quarter yeah. pipes. And yeah. Uh, this muscle right here is just toast, you know, on both arms. This and then up here. Just, there's nothing left. Just my arms are heavy. How many times have you jumped up that on Grand Theft Auto with your dirt bike? Oh, every time. Stunt jump. First one completed right there. Not Here's where we part ways, boys. I gotta go to the other side of the airport. Oh shit, see you on the other side? Yeah, Good see you on the other side. So we're at LEX. Power is out. Good thing we're here pretty early. Travis took off to a different terminal and all the escalators don't work. <laughs> 